What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a technical analysis on pancake swap. So definitely stick around till the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next, as long as it's not some scam coin. And also remember, if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So if you haven't got a Ledger Nano wallet yet, definitely check out the link in the description. And also, this video is brought to you by Marcellus.BeatStars.com. If you need any background music for your YouTube videos, or if you just need beats for your music. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Let's get straight to it. So I want to talk about the technical analysis here for pancake swap because lately, you know, a lot of people have been trading pancake swap. So it's actually something that's been going on for a while now. And we're just going to pretty much be going over some technicals here for pancake swap. So the first thing that I noticed here with pancake swap is where we got rejected at. So before we even start, I want to mention something about my automated indicators for all the new people out there watching. These red areas here pretty much indicate supply and demand of less demand and then you have these green indicators here indicating supply and demand of more demand so you have the red less demand the green more demand and really the way i like to look at it the red area is pretty much our resistance and then the green areas act as our support so now that we got that out of the way let's get straight over this so the first thing i want to talk about here with cake or pancake swap, we can just say cake for short. The 24 hour market control is still in control by the bears by 80%. And we just now had a huge oversold area here on the oscillator. And before we had that oversold area, we actually had a signal that was telling us we we're about to become bearish. And the reason why this signal on the oscillator says bearish is because this area here that was overbought, this whole area here that was overbought, it had a wave of buying. But that buying was significantly less than the second wave of buying. The second wave of buying was only this, but it wasn't enough to bring us up here to this next supply and demand of less demand. So it wasn't enough to bring us to the next resistance pretty much. And pretty much now what we're seeing with PancakeSwap is that now that we're having less buying, that's a bearish signal, which shows that more selling is coming up, which is why we became oversold. But every single time we're oversold, we always have massive buying coming up next. And I want to show you that right here. So actually, you can see the evidence of this right here. We were oversold here immediately after becoming oversold. We always have purchasing. And that's why we had all that purchasing coming in for cake. And then you see over here, we were oversold here on the oscillator. And then we had purchasing coming right in. So we had this whole oversold area. And then we started to become more bullish we had more purchasing over here you can see there was an oversold area here on the oscillator and then we had purchasing coming in so you can see here oversold and then purchasing coming in the same thing right over here on the oscillator oversold and then we had purchasing coming in using that there was a bullish signal because the selling started to wane down the selling started to become less and less prominent you start seeing the selling going down and then that's why we had this bullish signal showing that we're about to become overbought pretty much and that's when the overbought came. So now that you see that we're oversold now, now you kind of know that buying is starting is about to start coming in for pancake swaps. So you can see over here, since we're oversold, now we're starting to have buying coming in, which is going to lead us up here, possibly all the way up to $3.13. Now, I don't know if it'll get to $3.13 all the way. It could stop halfway. We had some support here before we even went down. Like halfway down, we had some support all the way at three dollars and nine cents so you may see pancake swap only go back up to three dollars and nine cents before it goes back down but you are about to see an increase coming inside the pancake swap price so you definitely want to be prepared for that if you're trading because there could be a good opportunity for a little flip but remember after we have that little flip you know after it goes up to like three dollars and nine cents or something like that or if it even goes all the way up to three dollars and thirteen cents then you probably will see it get rejected and go back down here to this support at two dollars and ninety six cents so you definitely are two dollars and um ninety six cents or two dollars and ninety seven cents really because it's at two point six two point nine six nine so we're really at two dollars and seventy cents but yeah, you could see pancake swap pulling back all the way down to two dollars and ninety-seven cents whenever we you know get rejected up here. So definitely prepare for that after we have this little increase in pancake swap, right? So 
And remember, this is also just the 15M chart. So it is a very short term chart. If Pancake Swap were to become more bullish, then we have another resistance area all the way up here at about $3.27. So there's always that possibility. But right now, like I told you, this is the 15M chart, which is actually pretty short term. So then our bottom support could be all the way down here at $2.86. Now, if we were to look over here at the four hour chart, which is way longer term, which is what we pretty much want to look at. If you want to be in pancake swap for longer, and you don't just want to do some little tiny day trades. Then what you're looking at now, we are still set to hit the bottom area of the support. So we are still set to go back down to $2.93. So Jeff, definitely prepare for that. But something that you just want to watch and pay attention to here is the oscillator down here. You can notice that there is buying coming in on the oscillator. Just look at how this is happening. But look at how irregular this wave is. It kind of indicates that we're probably about to top out like right here and then go on another selling wave, just kind of like how we had back here. So this selling wave is probably going to end up bringing us, like I said, to the lower side of the supply and demand. So we may be around the mid area or the lower side of the supply and demand. So you want to prepare for that. Now, anyways, if we were to become bullish, then our levels that we will get stopped at, like I said before, over here we have some resistance over here at $3.28 pancake swap at the upper area of $3.62. And then from there, we have another supply and demand of less demand all the way up here where our resistance is at $5.57. And then we have another area all the way up here at about $6.82, which we really don't have to worry about because... I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon with how the crypto market's going. It definitely looks like we're going to be more on the downside. That's why I'm more focused on where we're about to go on the downside because that's about that's pretty much what's about to happen after we get this little buying wave coming in. So anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you all today. As you can see, Pancake Swap is down 3.1% for the day. Everything else is down as well, everything. So we're getting selling inside the crypto market. So expect some more selling to come up. That's why I'm more focused on the bearish side right now. But yeah, anyways, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. And I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next. And also remember, if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So if you haven't got a Ledger Nano X yet, you definitely want to get that because this is where everything's going. You've seen what happened to Voyager. It's really bad right now with the exchanges. And also, this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com if you need background music for your YouTube videos or if you just need beats for your music. I got you. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video.